everybody i'm tasha with the major change group and today we're going to talk about the navy federal flagship credit card so y'all i have had the navy federal flagship credit card almost going on five years now i remember when i first got the navy federal flagship credit card originally i had just joined navy federal and i said you know what i'm gonna wait i'm not gonna hurry to apply for a credit card and y'all i couldn't wait i just couldn't wait i was like i'm gonna apply and i'm get approved for like 25,000. And you know what, man, I was only approved for like 7,000, not even $8,000. So I was so disappointed. I was just like, man, this is not even right. But the thing is, I still did get approved. And so I'm just like, with the Navy Federal flagship credit card having a $49 annual fee, it's not really that bad. So right now, if you apply for the Navy Federal flagship credit card, you can get 4,000 bonus points. That's equivalent to $400. If you spend $3,500 within 90 days. Plus you will still get Amazon Prime, which is $139 value free. So let me tell y'all what happened. Last year, I had got the Chase Amazon Prime credit card. And so when I got that credit card, it put that one as my primary card and it took my Navy Federal flagship is not my primary card. So when it was time for my annual fee to come up for the subscription on the Amazon Prime, y'all, I was so mad <laughs> because it ended up charging it to my Amazon Prime instead of my flagship. And I'm just like, oh my God, I cannot believe this. And so then, you know, I couldn't get the 139 because I'm just like, even when you go on the site, it states, you know, you really think that it's going to be a one time, but it's not. Once I had got it a couple of times, I'm just like, okay, that's great. So last year when I didn't get it, I was like, man, that ain't even right. I was like, that's cold blooded, right? Because on the one hand, I did get the $200 gift card. Well, I got a $200 credit when I had opened the Amazon Prime card, but then to have to pay $159, it's like, dang, it really ate it all up. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, that ain't right. So um, I want to say a month ago, I was like, you know what? I need to put my Navy Federal flagship as my primary card again, because I don't know when my subscription is going to be due for my Amazon Prime, but I'm like, they ain't going to get me this year. <laughs> so what I did, so last month I had went ahead and did it. And y'all, the other day I was checking my Navy Federal flagship account, and they had charged me for the Amazon Prime subscription of 159. But then a couple of days later, Navy Federal credited me for the 139. So I'm just like, that is amazing. And so I'm just like, you know, I think that that's really good. That even though I've had the card for you know five years, and I'm still being able to get the Amazon Prime. For me, I like when a credit card caters to like your natural spending. So naturally, I'm gonna be using the Amazon Prime 159. And so for Navy Federal to give me a credit for that, I really like that. Opposed to when credit cards have you know the different credits and it's not anything that you're using and it's like really you're wasting it especially with this card only having a 49 dollars annual fee and then to be able to get the 139 to me that's amazing <laughs> so let me know in the comments do you get the 139 for the amazon prime <laughs> or did it happen like me where maybe you put other credit cards for your main card on your Amazon Prime account and then you didn't get didn't get the credit. <laughs> I'm just like, man, that's not going to happen again. But it's just like I do like to use my Amazon Prime because I get 5% back. And so it's really just making sure that you put it back, at, you know, the Navy Federal back at the right time because it auto drafts off of your card. And so that's the only thing. And so maybe what I have to do is see if I can make it to where it doesn't auto draft me. <laughs> I don't know if it doesn't do that. So you can see here that they had charged me to 139 plus tax. And then Navy Federal came a few days later and gave me the credit. But then also I had got a email from Navy Federal like a few days ago. And they stated here in the email because they gave me a whole lot of other uh, information. But it states that you'll get a free year of Amazon Prime, just pay your annual membership fee with your flagship and we'll reimburse you with the credit. Plus 
do not forget that you get $120 towards the global entry or the TSA pre-check. But I'm just like, y'all, I wish I really had gotten the global entry because I had got the TSA pre-check, but it was just like, since I was going to be traveling, I'm just like, I'll go ahead and get the TSA pre-check because it takes a little bit longer when you get the global entry, unless you are at an airport that has the international, I believe you can expedite it then. But I had, I didn't do it that way. I had just went ahead and made my appointment and got the TSA pre-check, but let me know in the comments with your Navy Federal flagship, do you, did you get either the global entry or the TSA pre-check? But really, overall, I really like the Navy Federal flagship because, y'all, this was my favorite credit card for a long time because I really like to use it with the Navy Federal more rewards because I would like to use two times the points for everything, and then I would use my Navy Federal more rewards for my dining, groceries, and gas. And so I'm just like, that's really good. But then you also get three times the points on travel. But I'm just like, for me, even though I really like the Navy Federal flagship, for me, I just never really used it as a travel card. For me, I just used it for two times the points for everything and then being able to get my TSA pre-check. And so that's really what worked for me. But I was able to really accumulate a lot of points. And so for me, with my Navy Federal flagship and my Navy Federal more rewards, I would use my points for like I use my points for a uh, Fitbit, some Bose headphones. I would get gift cards. But then in 2023, I did go on a trip to Puerto Rico and I had saved all my points, but I had to just put the cash, you know, deposit in my account that I had accumulated with my Navy Federal flagship, my more rewards and my Navy Federal cash rewards card, all three of those to help go towards the trip because I was saving it for that. But other than that, I don't use the flagship as a travel card. So let me know, what are you thinking about the Navy Federal flagship? So let me know in the comments, what are you thinking about the Navy Federal flagship? And let me know, when you got the Navy Federal flagship, did you get approved for more than 8,000 or did you get approved for 25? Did you get a high limit? Let me know in the comments. Y'all, I was just like, I was just kicking myself because I was like, really, I should have waited, you know, the three months or so, so that I could have really gathered that relationship with Navy Federal by having the checking account and the savings account and direct depositing money in there. Because when I first got with Navy Federal, I wasn't doing direct deposit and I really wasn't using that account that much. My Bank of America at the time was still my... And so when I had got the Navy Federal flagship, I would probably say my internal score was probably low. But by the time I got the Navy Federal More Rewards card, y'all, I got approved for 25000 And so since then, I want to say maybe two years ago, I did a credit line increase and I got um, the 8000 So it took me up to 14000 So, <laughs> yep. But let me know what you're thinking in the comments. Please like, subscribe, share with a friend, and turn your notification bell on so you'll be notified when new content drops. I thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Again,